Hi, I'm Jamie Eason and today we're in the Bodybuilding.com kitchen. We're going to make my sugar-free pumpkin spice pancakes. We're going to need two bowls, a large bowl and a smaller bowl. And we'll use the, the large bowl first. We're going to put all of our dry ingredients in the large bowl. We're going to start with oat flour, which is essentially just ground oatmeal. You can get it in the health food section or you can grind your own. If you do your own, it's hard to get it so fine, so you want to make sure that um, you use a little bit extra. So this is a cup and a half. Then we're going to add, um, we're going to add a little bit of sweetener to it. Um, it's a pumpkin spice pancake, so it really shouldn't be overly sweet. You can add syrup and stuff at the end. So this is just two tablespoons of Splenda. Then we've got our baking powder, which is about a tablespoon of baking powder. A little bit of salt. Uh, this is a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And then our spices, we're going to have two tablespoons of cinnamon. Let's see, a fourth of a teaspoon of allspice and a fourth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. So those are all of our dry ingredients. You want to whisk those together until it's all incorporated. Okay, looks good. Okay, then we're going to trade it out and I'm going to use my medium-sized bowl here for the wet ingredients. You're going to need four egg whites. Oops. Make sure you don't get any eggshell in there. Oh, I got a little piece of eggshell in there, but it's easy to fish out. I'll use this one to fish it out. There we go. And number four. All right, and then after we put in our egg whites, let me rinse my fingers off a little bit. We're going to add a half a cup of pumpkin. That's where the pumpkin spice pancakes come in. So, and you can use um, you can use real pumpkin if you want to, which to me is a lot of work. So, I like to just buy the the canned pumpkin. But make sure that when you're buying the canned pumpkin, that you're not getting the pumpkin pie mix that's loaded with sugar. This is just uh, raw pumpkin, just basic raw pumpkin. So, scoop it all into the bowl. And again, we're going to whisk that together with the eggs. Make sure you mix it up really well because it'll get a little bit lumpy and you don't really want to be able to see any of the clear part of the eggs. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then our last wet ingredient, I'm just going to leave the whisk there, is going to be um, Almond Breeze, which is uh, actually just almond milk. You can use any brand that you'd like, but this one um, is an unsweetened version, which is what I like because I don't want to add any extra sugar. Now, almond milk comes from just compressed almonds. Um, it's got some healthy fat in it, and, but it's um, definitely really good for you. It adds a little bit of protein. Um, there's 40 calories for, for a half cup. So we are going to add a cup and a half, and this, this little scooper I'm using, or measuring scoop, is um, a half cup. So I'm going to do three of these. Now, depending on the consistency of pancakes that you like, you can just do a cup, you can do you know, a little less, a little more, however you want to do it. Sometimes if you add a little less, even once you've incorporated the, the wet into the dry, you can still add a little bit of liquid. There's really no rule there. Whisk that together. And now we're going to add our wet ingredients to our dry ingredients. Just bring this bowl back, pour the wet in, and scoop all the good stuff out. Okay, and then we're going to mix this together. And I've preheated my griddle over here. 
You can use um, just a frying pan kind of pan. Um, if you have a griddle, it's great because you can do a lot more at once. And that's about right. All right, now I'm gonna spray my griddle with a little bit of nonstick butter spray. Okay, and I like to use uh, my one fourth scooper to get the batter out because I find it makes all my pancakes more uniform and just easier to, to kind of control where the batter goes. I'm gonna spread it out. And this should make about 10 pancakes. Okay, these are doing pretty good. I'm trying to get them all down there so I can flip them all about the same time. A lot of times they say watch for the little bubbles to see when you're supposed to flip it. But for this, you just kind of have to be patient. Usually a pancake takes anywhere from three to five minutes on each side. When we're done, we're gonna use our sugar-free syrup. There's lots of brands out there. Uh, you just wanna make sure in your ingredients that you're not um, using one that's you know loaded with a ton of different additives. Um, this one's made with sucralose, which is just Splenda again. But um, if you don't wanna do uh, an artificial sweetener like that. You can do um, you can do pureed like fruit. You can do uh, you can put peanut butter on some of them, which is pretty good. Um, or you can actually just use uh, whole fruit. That's it. So please come back next time and check out bodybuilding.com for more recipes.